This was our first trip where we took to the skies. Thank you Fly Namibia for the awesome sponsorship. We touched down in Katima Mililu. I'm 178. Okay? Yeah. The average man of the Zambezi region is at least 1.8. Neville's schooling us on biology and sports. The, 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 the length of many for, for men of the Zambezi region, that's short. The best rugby players in this country should actually come from the Zambezi region and Heros. Yeah. We, we, we did I, that little Herro experiment. I, <laughs> in the Namibia rugby team, it didn't work out very well. Who was in the mood for some controversy? Okay, we gotta go and close this China shop. I'm gonna pull a Michael Amuchinello. <laughs> yeah. Egg Khan Mark China down here in Katima Tufanta. Lockdown China. We burned this place. <laughs> Lockdown China. <laughs> no. No, you're Occup Occupy China down. Yeah. Mm. Hey, let's allow us to work for that. Yeah. We are here in Chinatown. Currently. So this is the place. I, 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 want, to, I want to pull a Michael Amushilelo here. That's what I want to do. I want to play with Tung Mak. Finish in class. That's what it's a, it's a throw to her. <laughs> this is Chinatown. Katima Moli. Let's go check it out. Hello? Sorry, sorry. No for me. No, 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 sorry. Oh, no, no for me. This was all done tongue in cheek, and Neville was silenced before he could even attempt to close it down. Joke's on you, my friend. A fan of I Love Namibia organized a lovely gift for Neville. A gift not really phallic in presentation, but Laz and Neville have a very crazy yet obscure imagination. <laughs> what is this? There's a worm. Oh, uh, but Focus. it's not for you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's the manier. I said, yes, thank you. Ah, oh, slack. You never did a Hello. Yes, that is hero, man. That is hero. That is like Damara, man. Hero, Damara. I said, yes, thank you. Ombus cough. Never, I'm feeling very horny right now. Come on, check. Yeah, I competed in a marula. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I scope a marula. I got sideways. That's it. Yeah, I'm not going to miss a poop. What else? Is it? Okay. Yeah, go buy buy like. Yeah. Can cry. You can cry. You were all drunk. Without wasting time, the talent and crew jumped on a sundowner trip. Never listening on Lazar's call. They always forget about their microphones. Ah, bedagi. I love the fact that I can listen to his whole conversation from right here. No, come on, push you down at him. Namushasha River Lodge celebrates the wonders of the Sambezi water world with accommodation fit for a king. There is a magic, a feeling, or a charm that enraptures you in the northern realms. With elephants, hippos, myriad bird species, the Namushasha provides an enriching adventure into nature. Designed in true African style with a wooden chandelier and carved animals, it leads guests into the attractive lodge set between the trees. Namushasha is the perfect stopover en route to Victoria Falls or a grand destination in itself. The Kwanda River offers an exceptional sunset cruise, yet these guys prefer to talk about... Never be, I'm a Bill Cosby supporter till I die. The guy was found not guilty. What more do you want? But he definitely, I didn't do it. Oh, but you, but you, but you, but you, but I looked at the car and I was like, that's impossible. No. Can't be me. Mr. Qualutz. Yeah. Right <laughs> Adil doesn't want us to do any impersonations of Bill Cosby. She thinks it's disgusting. <laughs> so, so are you in your feelings now? Huh? You, you just want to sit back and just take in 
the whole environment. You want to feel that Zambezi brim coming through your whole body. Let's see if Neville knows where the hell he is. Okay. Neville, pop quiz. What's the name of this river? You have, is, is it you, not the you, Zambezi? Hey! You have three, you have three uh, uh, chances. What's the name of this river? Is no, it, hey, hey, look here. Don't Rekta look, is yeah, the Zambezi river. Yeah, I asked, don't ask It's Rekta. the Zambezi river. No. Okay, no, they, I don't know. You give it to me. Bantu education. No, give it to me. The river what? has been here for centuries. I know. For millennia. Yeah. This is the Kwando river. You this is the here. Kwando river. Okay. It's what beautiful. makes it the Kwando river? I don't know. Ask Rekta. Rekta, so this is the Kwando river? Yes. Okay. So what, what, is, what is significant about the river? We're sharing this river with Zambia. No, it's our river, we are not sharing. <laughs> we are not sharing anything. It's our river. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is the Kwando River. Yeah. But it's connected from Kubangu. It comes to Angola. And then from Angola to Mashi. From Mashi to Kwando, from Kwando to Nyanti, from Nyanti to Chobe, and from Chobe, it goes to Zambez. And then you might find that when the Zambez is rising up, it's pushing this way, and then also the Kwando has the water. And when the Zambez goes down, and the Kwando is pushing that way. Okay, the Zambez that you are talking about is still the Namibian side? Yes. I see. Okay. As opposed to which side? No, I'm just, I'm, I'm asking this. You're just asking dumb ah, questions. Ah. And it's actually my first time seeing buffaloes. Really? At such a close range. Okay. The beauty of Namibia, how contrasting the landscape of Namibia very is. Very much, very much. Because, I mean, we're in the Zambezi region now. Um, a few months ago, we were down in Sauces Flay. Really? Uh, in the deep south, where it's completely, it looks completely different from this. This this is the beauty of Namibia. Yeah, and the this diversity. Is diverse. The diversity. And this is what we keep on showing to Namibians, showing to uh, our foreign tourists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The world out there, like mm -hmm. you say, mm -hmm. who come here, and they come and see the pristine beauty of Namibia. Yes, Laz, this is a photographer's paradise and lots of Instagrammable moments. Let's have a hippo here. That's right. Hippo. After a long day of flying and driving, everybody sat back and enjoyed a classic Namibian sunset. The next morning, we, well, did you even do her? Yeah, I was called Babwata. We're going to Babwata. <laughs> ba can ba you, you ba can't even say it. Babwata. 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 Babwata National Park. It sounds like the name of a plane fighter's combat name. Comrade Babwata. <laughs> you can clearly hear this is where Babwata. Greenwell Matongo is coming from. Yes. Yeah. Come on, Khan. Recta is it Babwata or Babwata? Babwata. 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 Babwata ba National Park. Babwata. Yeah. Get in the car. <laughs> you know what, Lars? I have this uh, very, very weird theory mm. about zebras. Mm. I love zebra meat. I love it. I normally eat the fillet. Okay? But I don't eat donkey. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It's because you are I a tribalist. <laughs> what do you mean I'm a tribalist? No. Yeah. No. And, and, and let me just make this clear. A zebra is a black animal with white stripes. No, I agree. Yes. I agree to disagree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your butt is literally white. <laughs> when you're on a game drive, you're not supposed to make a, noise, a lot of noise because you chase the animals away. But we are stuck with some people because you see all my hacker region doesn't have a lot of game. So some people who will remain nameless do not know the etiquette of going on game drives and so on. In, in, the, in the voice of Jacob Zuma in Parliament, I normally never respond to people like yourself. <laughs> yes. You don't know what to respond to Mr. 480. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you still go there, yes. Mr. 
150. Mr. Four. Yeah. So you, 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 you. So you got a shotgun. You need to come with me to the Nami. You see, these are the, the, my these, are the these are the problems. You will not see any wildlife. Because somebody just peck it, peck it, peck it, yeah, the whole time. The, peck it. The engine, Verbal diarrhea. The engine peck of the it, car. Peck it, peck it, peck it. The yeah. animals, in case you don't know, as per Sir David Attenborough, the animals are used to the engine of the car. They are just not used to your voice, especially your hair voice. All I see is meat. But in our journey here, I... Never, when you look at a lion, when you look at a lion's eyes, well, it's, that's something diabolical about those eyes. <laughs> lion, like, it looks at you like, it's like, I'm exiled for you, up for you. <laughs> don't even, don't even, don't even think about playing with me. Especially the male lion. Oof. This is beautiful, guys. Neville finally enjoying the scenery. Yeah, the mother is somewhere is gonna come and kick you. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, uh, bad shot. Laz capturing the moment, Neville living the moment. You decide. Listen, I'm also tired now. I lost that shot. I'm tired. There are too many zebras here. There are too many, too many zebras here. Zebras are like bamboos, they are everywhere. Yes. We can't go anywhere to see. They are there. Hmm? Just like this executive tribe. Ah, oh, this is a nice shot. You're supposed to look with your eyes. <laughs> Not through the lens. It's a very nice eye. Nice. And I was hoping you would praise me. There's a bunch of impalas there. There's one female. No, there's one male and many females. <sighs> My exile next It sentence. explains the demographics of all living species in Namibia. <clears throat> yeah. And Joyce like then want to come and tell us what, what, what. <laughs> Even the impalas are in peace with each other. One male, many females. Wild dogs are also here. The wild dog does not hesitate. If they see a human being, they see a meat. Yeah, uh, especially herero meat. There goes Tabo, I mean, uh, there goes several Ramaphosa's people. <laughs> yeah, that's several people over there. Oh, where is it going? So it's checking going us out. The water now. Quickly explain. Okay. The herero is the elephant. Who shakes the tree? The Damara sits there in the tree with a piece of meat. Vambos are down there waiting for the meat to fall. Okay? That's all they are doing. They are waiting for the meat to fall. They did not do any work whatsoever. And the meat falls and then they finish the meat. Oh poor. I'm not gonna answer now. <laughs> I'll answer you that. Bilji, I wasn't listening. <laughs> you are totally irrelevant to me right now. Next time on I Love Namibia, 